Here we go. In five, four, three, two, holla. All righty. And it is time to commence this IG Live, which is called My Actor Spider Web. Uh, now, you guys, here's the thing. Yep, have got to get the pencil in. Here's the thing. Essentially, I use the metaphor spider web for a specific reason. Yes, basically, the spider web would be what I would call your master contact list. Sure. But a master contact list is simply a list of those people, and I should say this right up front, let me make sure that I define for everybody here and everybody watching eventually what I mean by a master contact because, of course, I cover target lists. So let me be clear. Going back to the day, because there's no black or white about this, you guys. This is These are what I've always called within the Actors Network Kevinisms because I've been speaking to our community since 1991. So Kevin decided eons ago, as I got into Hollywood, and remember I was here for four years before, yeah, four years and change before I had the first meeting of the Actors Network. So I'd already done a bunch of work and had a ton of experiences. I didn't just start the Actors Network six months into LA like so many people do who have one agent go on a few auditions and think they, they know everything. Um, it was quite a while before I started this and I realized as I got into this that number one, there was clearly a vast difference as there is in life between someone being an unknown stranger and someone that you have at least met or encountered or as it is in our industry because it holds so much weight that someone had seen me perform and I knew they had. So let's keep that in mind, right? Someone could see you perform on stage and if the production did the proper thing they should do for actors and had a guest sign-in book, you would know who was in the audience and you would know they saw your work. If you sent someone a demo reel or had someone hand off a demo reel or dropped off a demo reel to somebody, hey, Renny, good morning, and they gave you some form of communication that they had seen your demo reel, then you knew they had seen your work. So Kevin's definition of a contact has always been the difference between a stranger in this profession, which I would identify as a target, versus <clears throat> somebody on your master contact list that you have no for a hundred percent fact they've seen your work or or that you've met in person and it doesn't matter how you've met them this is one of the beautiful parts and also one of the frustrating parts about our profession you guys we're human and we're being requested to play humans doesn't matter how many prosthetics you have on okay um, and a lot of what drives people on the other side of the desk, phrase I use all the time, other side of the desk, gain a lot of information from us by encountering us in person because we will always be more interesting and we will always be more memorable when we have a you know, third dimension encounter with someone in person. That's why I'm such an in-person cat. That's why I'm such a big believer in it because people get a sense of you, which will can lead to how or why they would choose to call you in. Hey, Merrick, good morning, fine mate. So understand that my definition to begin with on how you build your spider web and building a spider web is no one can be a part of your spider web unless they're on your master contact list. And that means that you have to know a thousand percent they've seen your work or that you've encountered them in person. And I don't care if you've encountered them in a coffee shop at an audition, at, a, at an industry party, meeting somebody in person in no way in my assessment for this business is related to meeting them in an industry setting. Doesn't matter. I even told a story back on some IG Live about winding up, you know, hung over in a hot air balloon basket at six o'clock in the morning in Sedona. Yeah. And the fact that I encountered that casting director, no matter if she ever auditioned me in my life, which she did, but if she hadn't, she still would have been on my master contact list because I met her in person. So that's the inception point. So when you talk about spider web, guys, use the metaphor. You are the center of it. 
how and that I, it's funny that I use this because I'm not afraid of much in my life and snakes don't phase me. I hate spiders. Different subject. Now that's locked into IG Live forever. Uh, but I hate them. Uh, I will break some shit to kill a spider. Uh, whereas I will just embrace and wrap a python around my neck because I freaking love them. Okay, enough about Kevin. Back to this. So you're the center of your spider web, and it emanates outward. It's not just in a straight line, guys. We are a 360-degree business. Don't forget that. Hey, Judy, welcome in. Nice to have you here. We're a 360-degree business. Don't forget that. How we emanate out how opportunities come to actors, how we get considered. All of these things, it, they can be directive or they can be completely random. Or as I even said previously in Three Avenues, happenstance. So bear in mind, the reason I chose a spider web is because a spider web is circular, using the, you know other things spiritually like circle of life or cycle of life or any of these things. I look at this profession as a dartboard. But I like the spider web better for this part of it because a dartboard is just made and it has sections. A spider web is ever evolving. A spider web can be very simple with a few strands that stay connected to the center, which is you. And eventually a spider web can be incredibly intricate. And as we already know about spider webs, the more intricate that they are, what up, e Hen? Well, we got King Miles in the house. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. The more intricate a spider web is, again, continue the metaphor with being an actor. What happens? The more intricate a spider web is, guess what it does? It catches more stuff for the spider to eat. That's correct. The more intricate your actor spider web is, you know what you have? The more intricate and the more possibilities you have for being considered. And that's what this business is about. If you're not born and you're not granted nepotism as a way up the corporate ladder of the business of acting, if that's not what you're granted, which I wasn't and most people aren't, then your contacts and the level of your contacts are seriously, and I mean this, sorry, no disrespect, but I got a lot of them, they're more valuable than your credits. They are. Sorry, I've been saying it for three decades. They are. Who you know, who knows you more valuable than your credits because this whole profession is about consideration. But therefore, the more intricate your spider web as an actor is, the more possibilities of individuals you have out in the world to consider you. Now, let's break that down. Okay. Item number two about the spider web is we're only talking about one or two degrees of separation. What I don't want you to do is I don't want you to go down the road of, well, Billy knows Sarah, and Sarah was the cousin of the uncle of the hoo-hoo dilly and the whoop de doo Let's just keep this to, I know so-and-so, and they know so-and-so. Or I'm literally really tight with so-and-so, and they know so-and-so, and that person knows blah. Let's not go past one or two degrees of separation. This is not the six degrees of Kevin Bacon separation. Let's not do that, okay? That's a game. This is about your spider web. And so when you begin to look at that, the most important aspect of that is you want to look at three things. So number three in this conversation is as you begin to build your spider web, and you've already been doing it. This is why I'm such an advocate, you guys, of making sure that you have a master contact list. Because a lot of times in this business, we start out maybe in another city, maybe in another country. And we're running and we're running and we're and we keep going and we keep going and we keep going and we do some student films and some short films and we book some stuff and then woo and we're just flying along. And if we don't book a ton of stuff or become really successful really fast, we get frustrated because we're human and I get that. And one of the ways you can corroborate, confirm, and in a certain way applaud yourself, which you should is by making sure your contact list is up to date. Because your contact list, when you add one or two degrees of separation, here it comes, starts looking like a spider web that emanates out from you because it has lots of different directions and it has lots of different threads, 
which is exactly what a spider makes, okay? And the strength of that web, you guys, which of course is much harder to get through the closer you get to what? The center. And what is the center of this? You. That's the center of a web. My man Woods in the house, brah. Rolling in from Oregon. The center of the web is you. And the closest strands to you at the center of a big... Some spider webs are just six inches wide. Some of them are a foot. Some of them are ten feet. And I don't need the movie Arachnophobia. Uh, so understand that you're talking about one or two degrees of separation along with your contact list, which makes up your web. But here's the thing. This is the important key to this. What you have to be honest about, and this is one of the challenges for us, and I totally get it. What you have to be honest about, you guys, are three things as it relates to your master contact list. And these things change. So you got to pay attention to it. Number one, what is the professional legitimacy? Uh, yeah, oh yeah, dude. I, Renny, I barely even watched the effing movie because I just can't. I can't. I can't do the spider thing. I, I can't do it. Now, bear in mind, I have no problem with tarantulas, which explains my problem with spiders. I have no. I've had tarantulas on my arm because. not you can still hear me this happened once before and it took a few minutes to correct itself so somebody type can you hear me